Hi, I'm Doug from the Wellness Dentistry Network, and I want to talk to you today about A1C. Uh, one of the things that we'd love to know in our patient population, especially when we see patients with periodontal disease and other diseases that can support uh, inflammation and um, might have to do with blood sugar metabolism, is what is their A1C? Well, what we can do here, I'm going to show you the uh, particular A1C reading. I want to introduce you to A1C now and you can see here the A1C is 5.4. That was an A1C that I just tested on myself but I want to show you a little bit more now how to do this. You can buy this A1C uh, professional kit um, in the United States. It's about $140. There's 20 samples in here. When you open the kit, here's what you see. When you open the kit you'll see a millimoles to um, uh, percent uh, HbA1c conversion chart which is nice and then when you open the kit you basically have uh, three pieces there's a reader inside the kit that's what this part is this is the reader and so we actually have a reader and then in addition there's two packages there's 20 samples in the kit and there's two particular uh, packages and I have those out on the table and so I'm going to demonstrate uh, how to do this right now uh, by the way a great book on diabetes uh, one of the um, ways to prepare for this test is to use the, uh, it doesn't come with a lancet. So you have to use a lancet. And, uh, one, uh, and one of the things that we recommend in our WDN is to teach our patients how to collect their blood glucose at home over a period of time. And this is a great way of doing it. This is a great way of doing it with the Freestyle Light meters. So here's what I will do. I'll take the lancet. I'm just gonna borrow the lancet out of my Freestyle Light kit in order to do this test. So we have two packages. Two packages that come inside. This is uh, these are the two test components, and what we basically have is one test component. As we open this, one test component is a blood uh, sampling device, and so we have a blood sampling device. And this is a small little piece where we're going to collect the blood uh, after we uh, poke our finger, and then basically we have a piece that we're going to open. That's a reader uh, that goes into the a reader card that goes into the card reader. So really, this is how it works. It's really quite simple. Um, take the lancet and go ahead and collect or uh, go ahead and um, give uh, your finger this little micro poke. It really doesn't take a lot. We get just a little bit of blood and there's a small uh, suction device in here. And so this whole tube will fill up very nicely with a sample specimen. And we want to fill it up completely. And you'll see the red, you'll see the red, uh, the, uh, red uh, blood filled up on the end. And then basically we push this down into the sampling device and we shake it with the reagent about six to eight times. It's really all we need to do. And then while we're uh, letting that sit for just a second, we just open the reader pack. We wanna make sure we don't open the reader until we're just really ready to use it. And here's where the sample's ultimately gonna go. But what we do is we slip the reader pack in here and now it says wait. And so we have to wait until it's asking us for the sample. Once it asks us for the sample, then we can go ahead and now it's asking me for the sample. So now we can go ahead and take the base, take the uh, cap off, and all we do is push this. We want to leave this laying flat and we just push the device down and quickly remove it. And the sample has now been transferred out of the sampling device onto the reader. And now this is running and in five minutes I'll have an A1C reading. Now, the reading that you saw before was my reading that I just took uh, a few minutes prior to doing this demo video because I wanted to see how to do it and I don't want the video to take five minutes. But in five minutes, I'll have another A1C reading. So this is how easy it is. How much does this cost our patients? It's about $7 a test. It's valuable information for you to know because if you see a number that's way out of range and we surely would love to have numbers well below seven is what we consider our controlled diabetics. But um, for our patients that have A1Cs and the high fives, and these are patients that we should be doing other uh, glucose monitoring exercises on and make them aware that uh, they should get their physician involved in their blood sugar management. Because you remember one of the lessons we learned from Dr. Brewer and from many others is that insulin resistance is the number one risk factor for heart disease. And uh, it's a huge, huge problem. We know there's a bi-directional relationship between periodontal disease and uh, blood sugar metabolism issues. So it's something that we want to uh, look for in all of our patient base. So I, um, I hope that helps. 
and uh, look for A1C now. Also look for videos in our library and look for pieces in our library that support uh, home blood glucose measurable, uh, measurements. We have that uh, piece available to us and we use this in our Koi Center courses uh, at the uh, center, our wellness uh, courses. And um, we really want you to become experts in this area of uh, helping your patients discover if they have blood sugar issues. Thank you.